Hi, Mystery Recap here. Today, I'm going to explain a science fiction thriller film called Children of Men. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The premise of the movie is set in 2027. Female fertility has become non-existent for the past 18 years, and doctors are lost to explain the reason. With no women reproducing, humankind has not had a new child born in 18 years, and the world is falling apart. Most of the world's societies have collapsed due to war and paranoia of extinction of humans, African and East European countries collapse, and the people migrate to other wealthy nations. The UK has become a police state because of the increase in the number of illegal immigrants, and the police have the authority to arrest any they find. At the beginning of the movie, we see the news the world's youngest citizen, Argentine baby Diego, who was 18 years old had died. He was murdered by an angry fan when he refused to give them an autograph. The newscast is watched by a saddened and stunned crowd in a Fleet Street coffee shop, humankind is facing the likelihood of its own extinction. A man named Theo Farron enters the coffee shop, seemingly indifferent to the news story or the crowd. Just after he leaves and stops to add liquor to his coffee, the shop is blown up by a bomb. The act is attributed to an underground guerrilla group, the Fishes. Theo is shaken by the incident and leaves work early, under the excuse of being shaken by baby Diego's death. He instead visits his friend, Jasper. The two drive to a well-hidden forest home, where Jasper lives with his catatonic wife, Janice. They live a secluded life and grow cannabis in the place. The following day, while walking to work, Theo is kidnapped by two men who put him in a van and drive off. The people reveal that they are an organization called the Fishes, who protest against the British government to provide equal rights to every immigrant. It turns out the group is led by Theo's ex-wife, Julian. Julian and Theo had a son named Dylan, who died in a flu pandemic 20 years ago, the two had not seen each other since. She first tells him that the fishes were not responsible for the bombing of the cafe the previous day, then one of her group angrily claims that the government bombed the cafe, trying to create discontent for the fishes. Julian wants Theo to make fake transit papers for an illegal immigrant, with the help of his cousin who works in a government sector. Theo visits his cousin and is able to get the papers, but they specifically state that Theo himself must accompany this immigrant out of the city. He agrees and he with Julian, her associate Luke, the immigrant Key and her midwife Miriam drives to the southern coast of England together. On their way, they are stopped by a car in flames in the middle of the road. Soon, a large mob of people attacks them. Everyone panics, and Luke starts to drive the car in reverse. However, a person in front of them shoots Julian dead. As they flee the scene of the attack, they are pulled over by the police. When asked for their papers, Luke kills both policemen. A short funeral is held in the forest for Julian. Theo breaks off temporarily from the service and cries privately for Julian. Luke is able to find another car and drives them to a safe house on a farm where the fishes gather. Theo tells Key that he is going to leave, and the fishes can take care of her. However, she starts to take off her clothes. Theo is stunned when he sees that Key is eight months pregnant. Everyone in the fishes knows this and claims that it is a miracle. The group then discuss what should be their next move, and Theo insists they should make the pregnancy public. However, the fishes claim that the British government would take Key and her child away and use them for their own benefit. They leave the decision to Key, who agrees to stay in the custody of the fishes. At night, Luke wakes up to a commotion outside, and sneaks out to see two injured men arrive at the house. One of them is Julian's associate and a sociopath named Patrick. He eavesdrops on Luke and Patrick's conversation, and is horrified to figure out that Julian's murder and the riot were all planned by the fishes. They want to use Key's baby for their own needs, presumably to make money off her. Moreover, they plan to kill Theo the following day. After hearing all this, Theo panics. He quickly goes into Key's and Miriam's room and tells them that Luke was behind Julian's death. Before her death, Julian had told Key to trust Theo before everyone, so she believes him. He takes the two women and sneaks out of the house. Theo disables all of their other cars, gets the women inside a car, and narrowly escapes them. Theo then takes them to Jasper's house since it is hidden and secluded. Arriving there, Jasper is surprised to see Key pregnant, and agrees to help them. He makes arrangements for Key to meet a ship called the Tomorrow, a vessel belonging to a group called the Human Project, a collection of scientists based in the Azores off Portugal, and dedicated to restoring human fertility. They are the only people that will help Key genuinely. The following morning, the fishes somehow manage to find Jasper's home. This sets of an alarm and alerts them. Theo quickly gets everyone in the car to take them to Jasper's friend, Sid, who will help them get to the Tomorrow ship in a boat. 
Theo, Key, and Miriam watch the fishes get to Jasper from afar. When Jasper refuses to talk, they shoot him dead. Theo is frustrated and saddened by his friend's death, but gets inside the car and continues the mission anyway. The three reach an abandoned school, and stay there until a car arrives in the compound. Inside the car is Jasper's friend, Sid, who happens to be an immigration officer. The plan is to get the three arrested as immigrants and send them to the tomorrow ship in the immigrant bus. Sid takes them to a refugee camp, where they see the military killing the refugees one after another. Throughout the way, Key goes through contractions and whimpers in pain. Miriam, who was a gynecologist before the infertility pandemic, helps Key with the contractions. They successfully manage to get on the refugee bus and head toward Bexhill. On the way, Key's water breaks, and she is about to give birth. An immigrant officer comes inside the bus and asks what is wrong with her. Miriam acts strange to get the officer's attention off Key. She is arrested and taken off the bus, while Key and Theo reach Bexhill without detection. There, the two meet a woman named Marichka, who takes them to an old rusty room for the night. As soon as they get inside, Key's contraction gets worse and she starts giving birth. Theo helps her with it, and within some time, she gives birth to a beautiful little girl. The two happily celebrate. The following morning, they wake up to Sid and Marichka banging on the door. They tell them that the fishes have broken into the city and the National Guard have been called out to restore order. Outside, several riots and shootouts are taking place. Key tries to hide her child from them, but they eventually see her. Marichka tries to tell Theo and Key to not go with Sid because he is a bad person, but Sid threatens them with a gun. As it turns out, Sid wants to turn Theo and Key in for money. Marichka attacks Sid and the three narrowly escape. Amidst the riots and shootouts in the street, they manage to get to Marichka's family. They take great care of the baby and Key, and agree to help them to get to a boat. They put Key in a wheelchair and run outside. The streets are in chaos, bullets fly everywhere as they make their way to the boat. But before they get there, the fishes take Key away from them and kill Marichka's associate. However, the fishes are attacked by the British forces, and Marichka and Theo manage to flee. They run amidst the shootouts and bomb explosions, and are soon separated. Theo goes around the buildings, looking for Key and the child. He then goes upstairs and finds Key with her crying baby, hiding in a corner amongst other dead and injured people. Luke is on the other side, shooting at the force from the window. As Theo attempts to take Key and the baby out, Luke opens fire in Theo's direction, but Luke is killed a few moments later, and they manage to escape. As they come out of the room, it explodes. The two finally get out of the place with the baby, as everyone who sees them is stunned. The shooting and explosion stop, as the people watch the baby in awe. A soldier orders everyone to cease the firing, some of them get down on their knees to pray. As the two get away, the shooting starts again but they manage to flee and reunite with Marichka. Theo, Kii and the baby get into the boat and finally leave the harbor. They see fighter jets flying overhead, and Ki is worried that they are late. Theo assures her that they will get to the tomorrow ship. Ki sees blood and starts to freak out, claiming that she is bleeding, but Theo says that it is his, as it turns out that Luke had shot Theo before they ran away. An injured Theo teaches Ki to burp her baby. As he whimpers in pain, Ki tells him that she will name her baby Dylan, after Theo's late son. Theo soon loses consciousness, as Ki looks around and calls his name helplessly. Just then, her face is lightened up to see the tomorrow ship in front of them. They have finally reached their destination. Before the movie ends, we hear the sound of children laughing, suggesting that the world has gone back to how it was. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.